Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be doing the 10th update to my Pan Those Eyeshadows series here on YouTube. If you are new here, I will have this project pan linked down below along with all of the other project pans that I have going on this year for your viewing pleasure. And without further ado, let's hop straight into the progress. So the oldest palette it has been in this project for three months now, and that is from my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered palette, and I have the shade Fling rolled in. Here's what Fling was looking like last month. I had used it six times, and in the past month, I've used it four additional times for a total of 10 uses, and here is what Fling is looking like now. I do have a really big dip on this shade. These shimmers are kind of not quite a putty, but they have like body to them. Like they're not thin and like metallic, like a, like the Flower Beauty palette that I used to have was like that Charlotte Tilbury. It's a very thin consistency. These have like some weight to them. So I like going in with my finger. So, which can be a not as effective way of hitting pan on shimmers. Um, I've noticed when I go in with a brush, I hit pan much quicker, but just I I find it so much more enjoyable to work with this shade and my finger. So I'm just going to accept that like maybe I'll reach like 20-ish uses and I won't hit pan because, and I would have if I had been going in a different way, but I'm fine with that. Um, if I use this five more times in the next month, it would be eligible to be rolled out. And I think I'm just going to see where I'm at with all of my project panning in that one month of time because I feel like rolling in something new in November is not really like that I don't know it's not that exciting like if I just roll this out no pan roll something in new it's hard to hit pan for me in one month so I'm probably just going to keep this in for the rest of the project the next one is also been in the project for three months and it is Fuse from my NARS um Ignited palette this is limited edition from like I I think spring 2020 um like pre-pandemic I got this like February 2020 and this is what Fuse was looking like last month I had used it eight times at my last update and I used it an additional four times for a total of 12 uses and here is what Fuse is looking like this month um it's really hard to show on the in the footage I sat there trying for a while but this is starting to get a dip um honestly this whole palette is looking pretty well loved which is making me really happy I brought this with me on a like friend trip long weekend and um this was all that I used for eyeshadow and I just really love how sparkly everything is we took some of the lighter shades and like rubbed it onto like our shoulders and stuff when we were going out and we just had a lot of fun playing with this one so I'm happy to keep having this in the project and reaching for it regularly because it is such a beautiful palette. So there is Fling and then this is Fuse. As you can see it's like kind of not much from far away and then when you look at it it's just got so much beautiful like micro sparkle in it and I think it adds a lot to an eye look without making it super dramatic. It just it's so pretty. It's enjoyable for like the people who are looking at you if that makes sense. The next two shades I rolled in at my last update and the first is from this Shayna B Miami duo in the shade um, Vino and Vino and Bay Harbor something like that. Yes Vino and Bay Harbor I'm rolling in the shade Vino. Here's what Vino was looking like last month. I used it two times since that, and here is what Vino is looking like this month. Basically no change. Um, I was considering rolling this out because I wasn't sure how it would work, um, if it would compete with a shade in my Pan That palette. I'll link that series down below as well. But after careful consideration, I've decided to leave this in. It does not really compete with anything that I'm trying to pan in my Pan That palette. So I'm going to keep working on this and maybe if I use it as a liner a couple of times I could potentially hit pan on this by the end of the year because I just find this color really easy to wear especially fall winter when I'm wearing a lot more of these like ready looks. 
And the last shade is from my beloved Tati Beauty to te um, textured, no, textured neutrals volume one. That sounds right. I don't know. Um, and I rolled in the shade Soothe in the metallic formula. Here's what Soothe was looking like last month. I've used it three times since my last update. And here is what Soothe is looking like today. Um, maybe if I look really close, you can see that the center of the pan is slightly disturbed, but nothing crazy. This one, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to hit pan in the next two months, um, just because this is such a pretty shade, but it's not, it's just not very powdery, like not very much kicks up when I dip into it, where I feel like the mattes are a little bit powderier. Um, so I'm not sure, but we shall see. Here is what Vino and Soothe are looking like. The one thing about this shade that surprised me is I feel like it pulls a lot more orange than I expect it to. Um, it does depend on what I'm wearing with it, but like today against the reds, I think it's pulling more gold, but one day I just put it all over my lid as like an easy everyday color, and I think it pulled a little bit more like, yeah, like orangey than a true champagne. So, it definitely has been fun to play with and I am looking forward to continuing to reach for this palette. Maybe I'll do a palette bingo or something with it because this is truly one of my favorite palettes in my collection. It's just so, there's so much going on. It's kind of a basic color story with lots of fun different kinds of shimmers and that's really just, if I could describe a perfect palette, that's what it would be. So that is everything that I have for today's video. I know this was kind of short and sweet because I'm not rolling anything out or in. I did realize that the powder eyeshadows, um, what's it called, spreadsheet that I've been working on is incorrect. I gave a palette away, went to remove it from my powdered eyeshadows and realized it was never there to begin with. So I think it, I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then at the end of the year when I do some inventory things I'm gonna update it so then moving forward hopefully I will have a corrected powder eyeshadows um, list to pull from for this project and if you are liking this project please let me know down below because I am thinking about doing it next year I was also thinking about different ways I could rotate through my collection so let me know what you think and most of all I hope you're having an incredible awesome day wherever you are and that I get to see you in a future video. Thanks guys!